Good evening and welcome to Poland Daily. I'm Nicholas Richardson and this is the news. Everything nice seems to point to there being no debate between President Andrzej Duda and Civic Coalition candidate Rafał Czaskowski before Sunday's runoff presidential election. Czaskowski refused to participate in the debate organized by the Polish national television station TVP in the town of Konskie in the Świętokrzyskie Wojewodship. Instead, his staff arranged for Czaskowski to meet media representatives in Leszno in the Greater Poland Wojewodship. Pan president o prawdziwych problemach. Today, the president wants to talk about things which are not the most important to us at the moment. For that reason, Mr. President, once more I challenge you to engage in a debate on the really important issues. I myself will today face journalists from 14 media outlets and will be answering tough questions from left to right. I'm not afraid as you are. The facts are that President Andrzej Duda is not afraid to stand before polls. He is not afraid of tough questions. He is not afraid to respond during a debate on indirect questions from the public. On the contrary, it is his opponent who is afraid of direct questions from the people. He might be afraid that they will ask why he was silent when the retirement age was going up. He is afraid that they will ask why he was voting against lowering the retirement age in the previous level. He is afraid of the common folk. He only goes out of his comfort zone outside Warsaw during the election campaign. He does not know rural Poland. He does not know problems of the average citizen outside of the capital. And this is the main difference. The presidential debate organized by TVP was held today in the city of Konskie with the partition of participation of only the incumbent president Andrzej Duda. Duda's opponent, the Civic Coalition candidate Rafał Czaskowski, was also invited, but he organized his own debate instead. Our correspondent, Alexander Wyszewski, has more on the story. Good evening, Nicolas. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at Leszno Wielkopolski. This is about 60 kilometers south from Poznań in western Poland. This is the place where Rafał Trzaskowski, presidential challenger, appointed meeting with press. About 25 different newsrooms from all over the country will be here. But the peculiar and thing is that he actually should have been today in Koinskie when President Andrzej Duda and state television appointed the presidential debate. Apparently, President, uh, candidate for president, um, Rafał Trzaskowski, wants to dodge this meeting with his opponent. Instead, he is going to talk to press. And he will be answering the, some tough questions regarding the aggression that takes place in this uh, presidential campaign, regarding his relation to the common people and re regarding his policy. Well, this is still in front of us, and we will definitely let you know what has happened here as soon as we will be able to. Nicholas. Thank you, Alexander. President Andrzej Duda signed today the draft of a bill which, through a change in the Constitution, would make it impossible for homosexual partners to adopt children. The President expressed his hope that the bill will be supported by the two-thirds majority in Parliament, which is required to change the Constitution. Andrzej Duda signed the draft of a bill changing the Polish Constitution and sent it to the same. The Legislative Act will make it impossible for homosexual couples to adopt children. The initiative is to protect children's rights. It is a very small change in the Constitution, the introduction of the most basic regulations, which are already in the Family Act. In accordance with the rule proposed by me, only an underage person can be adopted, and only in the person's best interest. Not much will change, only this time it will be written down in the Constitution. Secondly, only a marriage will be able to adopt children, and marriage is defined in the Constitution under Article 18 as a union between a man and a woman. Thirdly, a person having a same-sex partner won't be able to adopt. In my opinion, it is a very good move from the president, although I am not sure this will stop the invasion of the LGBT communities in Poland. President Duda is convinced that the changes to the constitution will be supported by the majority of the same. Recent statements made by Duda's main opponent in the presidential elections, Rafał Trzaskowski, seem to confirm this prediction, even though he marched in front of the so-called Equality Parade, during which the LGBT communities pushed for the adoption of children by homosexual couples.
Nie znam polityka. I am against the adoption of children by homosexual couples. There is not a single political party in Poland today which would be for such a solution. Taką adopcję. Na pewno Andrzej Duda tutaj stawia. Andrzej Duda stands in defense of family, at the same time putting Trzaskowski in a difficult position. Rafał Trzaskowski, while he was fighting for the office of mayor of Warsaw, presented more liberal views. Now, fighting for the electorate of the center, he needs to ease down on that, and it will be difficult since he is risking losing the most engaged liberals or the central voters. The draft to change the constitution in this regard is one of the campaign promises made by Andrzej Duda. The United States ambassador to Poland, George Motzbacher, and the Law and Justice Party MEP, Bieta Mazurek, have recently engaged in a spat on Twitter over an article published in the Fact tabloid. The article's authors attempted to blame President Andrzej Duda for pardoning a convicted paedophile. The article also included the reaction of the German media to the president's statements on this matter. Shame on you for perpetuating what you know is an absolute lie by suggesting that TVN is WSI. This is beneath a representative of the Polish people. You don't know that? When asked about the assertion of the report, in which it was said that ITI was established thanks to the services of the Polish People's Republic, Antoni Macierewicz made the secret agent of WSI and the former director of FOZZ Zemek explain himself, and then he admitted that he was an agent of the services of the army of the Polish People's Republic. It was said in the report that the military intelligence of the Polish People's Republic made efforts to establish a television company. The purpose of the establishment of this kind of company was to make the process of placing their agents in the West easier. That's the news. Thank you for watching. Stay with us for the weather, Poland Daily Business and more programs. But from me, it's have a good night and a better tomorrow.